Greetings, everyone. It's uh, Glenn Kellaway coming to you from the basement. Hope everyone is doing well. Fresh off our great chat from last night. If uh, you haven't been watching our Tuesday chats, join in 8 o'clock Tuesday night. Last night, uh, Sam uh, St. John couldn't make it, so Rob from Northern Reflections and I, uh, we uh, ranked our uh, top 13 Canadian albums. Uh, a response to Steve at all the world's a stage. Please watch uh, his videos. Um, joined by uh, two great VC members last night, Rachel, Rachel's Ghost, and uh, Chance from Concert Buddy, Everybody's Buddy, Chance. It, it was uh, fun. The, if you go into the live heading there on your thing, it's the latest video. It's still up and running. Today, I want to talk about Album covers. My favorite album covers. I don't know how many I pulled here, but I'm going to rank them down from, uh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, around 10 or 11, 12. Anyway, uh, let's say number 12, and then if I have to skip a number, I will. I actually showed this album last night as one of my favorite Canadian albums, but I really love this cover. Um, Bruce Coburn's Dancing in the Dragon's Jaw. This is a great record, too. Beautiful cover. Let's see if I can hold it up there. Very cool painting. I'm not sure if Bruce did that himself or, uh, or what happened there, but uh, this is a great record. Anyway, but uh, we're talking about covers today, so I'm not going to get into the album itself. But do check it out. Next, I guess I'm going to have to put all these back later. Album that came out a couple of years ago, surprisingly good record. Mickey Dolan sings Nesmith. Um, this was a take on the uh, Nielsen Sings Newman cover from years ago. Uh, Harry Nielsen doing Randy Newman songs, but um, just a great, great cover. I love that. Looks like Sedona, Arizona, doesn't it? Uh, there's Mickey in the front seat, Mike in the, or Mike's in the, I don't know, unless they're driving a British car or something. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, they're in the car. And, uh, another great record, but I do love that cover. It's very cool. Okay. Next. A band that I just recently got into. I know I've been bragging them up a bit. And I ha <coughs> have showed these covers. So all these covers are kind of tied for next. I just want to show them all because they're all fantastic. The band is... Uh, the Comet is coming. Uh, this is the album uh, Hyper Dimensional Expansion Beam. I just think these covers are so arty and so cool. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful covers. That's one. Another one. Again. Very spacey. Love it. Love those covers. Let's see if I can get this one back in quickly so I don't have so many to do later. It went in. Good. Okay, another one. This album is called uh, Trust in the Life Force of the Deep Mystery. Ooh. Another cool cover. Geometric. Is that what you would call that? With kind of like a... It's almost like Mars or something there in the road. I don't know. It's weird. Spacey. Their music's kind of spacey. Some people call it space funk. Uh, and one more. This uh, was an EP that is called uh, Eminent. Again, very ge geometric designs, but lovely colors and um, beautiful, beautiful. Lovely colors, beautiful cover. Next on the list, Frank Zappa. Grand Wazoo. Love this cover. There's just so much going on in here, man. Look at all the little cartoon figures. and They're all doing something kind of weird. 
It's just a fantastic freaking cover. There's the back. And uh, yeah, that's uh, Mr. Zappa's cover for Grand Wazoo. Now we're down to uh, Yes with the great uh, Roger Dean covers. Now, um, I just got two here that are kind of, uh, you know, tied for first place. First of all, we have Topographic Oceans. Always cool cover. Tales from Topographic Oceans. Great freaking record, man. And of course, another one of the incredible records Relayer, another great Roger Dean cover. Good detail in that, eh? it's pretty cool. Boy, album covers, eh? That's the one thing we lost when CDs uh, took over the market there years ago. Okay, we're down to one two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to do one more and then we'll do our top five. Love this cover and love this album so much. Moody Blues In Search of the Lost Chord. Isn't that a cool cover? Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, top five. This used to be my favorite cover. Had it on my wall for a long time. Some other covers have kind of surpassed it, but it's still, like these top five covers, I absolutely love. I Artwork for the wall. Creamed Israeli gears. I believe the guy who did this cover uh, was an artist who lived in Eric Clapton's apartment building or something, but uh, just the coolest cover. Very psychedelic. Very cool. Oh, I love this cover too. Yorma Kakonin from Jefferson Airplane from Hot Tuna. Great guitar player. He put it on an album with another gentleman by the name of Tom Hobson years ago, and it's been reissued, it was reissued on, on uh, colored vinyl um, a few years ago. Qua or Quay, I never quite know how to pronounce it, but I just love the drawings on this and the colors. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. Pops, man, this just pops. There's Yorma there, or Yorma. Amazing guitar player. Quay. Okay, top three. I love this cover, this painting. It, it, it's got so much movement in it, and it's just that the colors are great. It's like a piece of art. It's Sting's live album, Bring on the Night. And I just think this is freaking brilliant. Love that cover. Man. Somebody could paint that for me. I'd, I'd have that framed. It's just gorgeous paint. Sax player and there's Sting there. And another great, great shot there. This is the inside the um, inserts. Absolutely incredible, I think. I should frame that, man. Those are frameable. I never thought about that. That's number three. You can probably guess what number two and number one is if you know anything about me whatsoever. Number two, Caravan in the Land of Gray and Pink. I've shown this many times, but what a beautiful, beautiful cover. I think that's supposed to be the land of gray and pink. 
I see gray, I see pink. Okay, fold. And number one, if someone could paint this mural on my wall, I think it'd freak people out, but I would freaking love it. In the Court of the Crimson King. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> who was the bent human being who came up with this? <laughs> that man was... Needed some help. Definitely. And there's the inside cover. That's it. That's my top album covers. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please... Hit the subscribe button. I was up to 1,800 subscribers and I lost a couple. I need to get back up to 1,800. It's driving me nuts. And please press the like button. And uh, it's Wednesday. We'll be back. Have a great day. Thank you.